this is a Panasonic D1232 PABX and uh, the issue with this is um, that um, the the power it doesn't come on because the power I think was blown due to electricity issue so today I'll show you how to fix it I'm going to open it up now and then I'll show you how to fix it this uses around three cats so three Amphenol cables are connected to this particular device you can see this is how the inside of the device looks like so I've been able to disconnect some of the cables and then I'm going to take out the screws on this end you have to be very careful when dealing with this particular PABX and then I've taken up all the screws on this end you can see I'm just pointing out the directions that I've taken screws out from and then I was you can see this was clipped in there before but I've removed it so I've slowly removed this front cover now when you remove this front cover it's going to expose the logic board and the the power supply right now the power supply of this particular device has blown several capacitors on it has blown okay and the fuse has blown too and um so what, what i'm going to do right now is in case you don't have a replacement for this particular power supply you can actually re um, repair it can be repaired so this one i'm going to take it out and i'm going to repair this particular power supply so we have several screws attached to different parts of this power, su um, power supply and you have to be very careful to be to de uh, detach all the cables attached to this particular power supply make sure none of the cables um, was cut in any way remove all the screws gently and then gently disconnect the power supply from the board remember all the cables you have around three to four cables attached to this particular power supply i'm going to gently remove all the cables also but to be able to get access to it i have to remove all the screws you can see all these areas i have to remove all the screws attached to to these areas right now so this is one of the cables i was telling you about you can see it is disconnected make sure all of them are disconnected and be careful not to cut any of them Because if you had to cut any of them by mistake, the cables are short. So joining it back again will become an issue, except you have another cable of the same type that you can use to augment the length. So I think the power supply is coming up, but I think there's one or two screws I still need to remove on this end. So I'm going to take out the screws on this end. And remember, this is a PABX Panasonic D1232 PABX system. And this uses around three cards which have disconnected and then this is the power supply which I'm going to remove right now. I have to be as careful as possible when removing this particular power supply in order not to affect the, the logic board in any way. The logic board is very very expensive. That is if you even, if you're lucky to even see it out there, it's very very expensive. You have to be very careful. You can see the fuse, the all swollen and the... The capacitors are all swollen rather and the fuse is burnt so right now this particular power supply is not available right here in this part of the country easily available right now except i got it from another uh, used pabx system of the same type now so what i'm going to do to this one this is not readily available for replacement i'm going to repair this one so what i'm going to do is to replace the fuse and the capacitors and then change one or two components on this particular power supply and it is going to work again and then for the replacement of this power supply this is another power supply that i'm using right now you can see it has been repaired so this is the new one that has been repaired right now i've changed a whole lot of the component on this particular power supply and then um, 
I'm going to replace it back inside all the cables you have to be very careful carefully replace all the cables one by one the where uh, note where the cables are from and carefully replace them one by one and you have to be very very careful when replacing all these cables you have to be very very careful when replacing the cables So um, it is in now. I'm trying to ascertain if there's any cables that is left that is omitted that I still need to add to it. That is what I'm trying to ascertain right now. Okay, and then um, I'll get all the screws. going to add the screws to it and if you have any questions regarding this particular PBX um, you can just hit me up in the comment section and I will do everything as much as possible to respond to you on time okay this is basically three cuts which means we have three amphenol cables in plugged into this PBS system okay and then okay so right now I'm trying to rectify something down here I'm getting all the screws out the screws while I remove all the screws I kept them in, uh, in a particular uh, a particular place so so that I don't misplace the screws so that is what I'm trying to get right now I want to make sure I get all the screws out okay I think I've gotten some of the screws so Oh, this is going in right now and then I want to make sure I plug all the cables so I've been able to plug all the cables right now and then I'm going to power it on right now and uh, I would like you to subscribe to my channel and hit uh, like and subscribe and I'll see you some other time thank you <music>